<laughs> but lad, no, what we've spoke about music and that, I need to talk about the boxing with you, lad, don't yeah, I? Yeah, yeah, let's do it. Can't yeah. not talk yeah, about that. that, lad. Yeah. Tell everyone, lad, you were obviously, you were meant to, you were meant to box a couple of weeks ago, weren't you? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, do you know what? I was meant to box last October, actually. Um, and it's happened three times. I've had three opponents and three of them have pulled out in, the, in a day or two before the fight. And I've trained me back out, you know, obviously, not at your level, but I'm f- training, boxing. Oh, no, when I saw the first videos of you on the pads and then yeah. I saw the ones where like a few days before you fight with Tony had sent me and yeah. the, the level of difference, lad, it was, it was very good, lad. I've got a great train. I've been fighting for years, you know what I mean? I was Thai boxing for years and stuff like that. Um, and again, like coming from a similar place, fighting just a normal thing. I've got a brother who's like my twin. There's only 11 months between us. We fought all his life. Punching each broke, broke each other's noses. We're fighting. Every I used to fight as a kid just for... It's just something that we used to do from where we're from. So I've always fought... And that's the silly thing when people say they used to fight in the street or whatever. Like, go, he'll vouch for you. Bro. I had a million fight, well, not a million fights, but I had a lot of fights. But that's nothing compared to when you get in a ring. Yeah. You know what I mean? A, a fight in the street lasts 30 seconds or if that. But when you get into a ring and you've got to pick your punches and you've got to work out what's going on and hold your breath, you know, keep get through your rounds. F- me. It's different altogether. So I've been Thai boxing for quite a few years, but. I've had to, again, switch to boxing, which is completely different. It's, yeah. You don't know how different it is. Like I was, when I first started, I was walking towards, like, facing front. Yeah. And, he's, and I, had my, I, I had my elbows up like, and he's saying, what are you doing? And now I've got to change everything up. So, but I, but when I do it, I take it very seriously. Like, you know, you, you can't, what, when you said before you were doing MMA and doing all of the parties and all that, you can't do it. No, you can't. Not in that game, what you're in, in, in fighting, you cannot do it because you have to focus because it's not, they say, uh, it's not a game and it ain't a game you can't play boxing, bro. It's not you because can. if you if you f around, you're gonna get your head kicked in. And then it hurts. Sparring hurt. When you get punched, I've had my nose broke a few times. And it's sparring, I've done it and 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 it, and it, and it stings, you know what I mean? <laughs> it does, lad, you're not wrong, <laughs> yeah, it stings, When bro. you get sort of when it like you have the blood touch wood, like touch wood, but I've I've not well, I think I have broke my nose, like, but Teddy Violet, I think, broke my nose a French fight. <laughs> you eight years you ago. never broke your nose. Uh, I think he did, like, because I've, I've got a deviated septum now, but I never went and got it reset or looked at or nothing. You know what I mean? It's one of the only fights I've ever been rocked in, lad. Give him his due, he could bang, lad. And yeah, he hit yeah. me with the right hand, left hook, I think it was. And I never forget it, lad. Because people think I've been rocked in the UFC. I was talking to Tony about this yesterday, lad. People think I've been rocked in the UFC, lad. I haven't. If yeah. you just want to see me get rocked, go and watch me fight Stephen Martin, where he actually, he knocks me out and wakes me back up. Can he I hits me man? with a right hand. And I'm going down unconscious and he hits me with a left hook and wakes me back up. Yeah, yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. And I end up finishing him at the end of that round. Sick. And That's what happened other... to uh, Mickey Ward in uh, yeah. that certain, yeah, And yeah. then the other one, Teddy Violet, lad, in the first round, I backed up against the cage and he just stepped in and whacked me right down the middle yeah. and I like done a little squat against the cage, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, and yeah, I had yeah. to shoot in underneath. There was just claret everywhere, <laughs> blood everywhere, so, lad. That's what I and I'll my... never forget that one because I walked out the cage after it and turned to me beard and went, what round did I finish him in? <laughs> know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But it never ever got me nose looked at, lad. But the I next day I had two that. big shiners. Yeah, yeah, and like yeah. still to this day, I can't breathe properly out of my nose. Well, I probably should have got it looked at, but okay. ah, well. Lucky for you, I've had mine broken about eight times, bro. <laughs> it f***ing stings. I remember the first time I had a spa, um, a proper spa, like I've been training for weeks and I've got, they've got a kid in from another gym. And 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 I'm and I think it went like second round and I'm I'm really getting better of him. To be honest, I'll be quite you know, I'm quite I won't say I'm I don't wanna be arrogant, but I'm quite good, you know what I mean? You'll see when I come down. Lad, you gotta believe you'll, in yourself, you'll see when I come and train with you. <laughs> Lad, you <laughs> need to go down and have a little session in that we need to. I've seen you do ten marines in one round, bro. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, and, and um first time I, um you want know, the first time that I got it broke, so I got Brock years ago. Um, when I was about 18. But the first time I got it broken sparring, it smacked me straight down pipe, bust it everywhere. It just, like, just pops on it. Yeah. I started watering and I just started to like, then it just sent me on a mad one. Then I just like, not even come I was going, bam, 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 just running and started punching yeah. him with my thing. And then I put him away in a second, like, it, it, it stopped, the, stopped the spar. But that that's like, it. Fo- but then that was sweet. I, I won that spar, blah, blah, blah. I put him away. I wouldn't say once it's a spar, but then two days later, I've come and I'm spying another kid and this guy were a bare knuckle boxer and training with some real... Wait there, you had your nose broke and you spied two so, days yeah, later. So get this, like a few days... Like Joe the f***ing you know, this, A few days later, I've gone and I'm, and, and I'm thinking, they're saying, oh, f- I don't know, but I only had a few weeks left this fight. I took it on short notice. Still, though, so lad, you don't f- 
Sat you these after I've, you've had your nose bro, broke. So the first time I'm I round the bend yeah, and I wouldn't do that. Bro, the first time it's it's uh, I didn't feel it. it I just went on a mad one, started punching and ended up uh, winning the spa, if you like. A few days later or whatever, when I've had this second spa, I'm with this bare knuckle boxer. He didn't even have any head guard on or all that. I had my full thing on. I'm saying, let me use one of them where you cover my nose, please. You know what I've got? And they didn't have that fuck say. So what what's happened this time? I didn't feel the first one. He just sent me on a mad one. This time, I, um, he's, I think he's given me a body shot. I've gone down and he's gone straight up, uppercutting me straight in nose again. And then I, I had to start, I was like, me, that was it. Then I felt the pain then, but yeah. like, cause, you know, because afterwards I couldn't even touch it. It was quite, you know, yeah. sore. But at the time it happened in the first one. Yeah, when it sweet. happens the first time, the adrenaline's kicking. Yeah, you can't give a f Because you've done it two days later. But then I went back in and I got an uppercut off his kid, mate. And he f Bro, then I was like, no, oh, just give me a minute. We came Glad all this you are time. around the bench. Oh, I can't it, believe you sparred two days after. I think I might have knows. a video of that somewhere from the I old. need to see that video. That I, needs yeah. to get edited into this vlog, lad, yeah, if we can. Fair, yeah, Definitely, yeah. I mean, this vlog, this yeah, podcast, cool. lad. Got to touch on that mushroom the other week, though. Chatting all shit in the press conference. And oh, then bro. absolutely curry chip bandit. <laughs> yeah, and bro. was scared to fight the next day. Oh, let me tell you again. So this boxing, what I'm doing, it's, it's your YouTube boxing. Don't get me wrong, there's some great kids, and these some of these kids f train hard, mate. The good, yeah. the good, the good kids are to train hard. You know what I mean? the tra well, lad, the obviously, people call this Jake Paul a YouTube boxer, but now, lad, he's a boxer because it, 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 he's got that much money behind him that he trains like a professional boxer. You know what exactly. I mean? He gets the best coaches in, the there best you nutritionists. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't really call him a YouTuber anymore, lad, you know what I mean? He actually yeah. does do, do oh, it full mate, time. The, the, the train, obviously, KSI. They train like animals, don't get me wrong. And majority of them do. But then you've got these kids now, it's the first fight. Uh, this will be my first fight on a on a you know proper platform and stuff like that and, 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 a, and a show. But they're coming in and because they're from social media, because they're from YouTube or whatever it is, they, they're good at talking shit behind a camera. Yeah. And they're good at talking shit and calling people cunts and that behind a camera. But when it comes face, when it comes person to person and I'm ready to go because I, I couldn't give a about that but then their head, their ass falls out I've yeah. had three opponents now who've been on Instagram saying I'm going to do this I'm going to do that and blah 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 and then as soon as I'm in front of them they, they know it's real and then their ass falls out you're not behind the computer anymore yeah. now you're going to have a fight and it's going to it's, I'm going to do you I'm going to smash your head in but then until that point they think they're, eight, they think they're yeah, protected they behind the computer so that's why it's a bit of a shame I've had three I've trained three, for three people and each one of them have pulled out they were saying I'm the most feared uh, YouTuber <laughs> boxer or something <laughs> so I've got, uh, got a tweet but it's against people who've never had a fight it's against people I'm, who are used to glad you touched on the social mm. media thing though because literally I had that today you know what yeah. I mean? Some absolute yeah. mushroom. <laughs> I absolutely led at this kid because he was scared to fight one of the lads from our gym. Yeah. And one of his mates got involved. You know what I mean? Started chatting shit and he put, have the same energy, Sati. <sighs> so I've put, me have the same energy, Sati. <laughs> Watch Fuck when it. I see you on Sati oh at this show. God. You're getting backhanded, Fuck you little it. mushroom. But that's the thing, like, you you, you can't now. You can't. You can't. I'm glad you, I can. You can't. Oh, I can't. <laughs> Trust me. He's getting yeah, slapped if I see this kid. Tony and I are going to have to get in between oh, it because he, he's, he's going to get one of them <laughs> right across the <laughs> cheek, lad. Yeah, at this weigh-in tomorrow, I'm just going to say, where's your boys, lad? He said, give the energy Sati. Well, it's Friday now. I'm bringing the energy yeah. now. You yeah. know what I mean? What's happening? <laughs> It's going to be hilarious, lad, when I have his head up his ass, lad. Oh, know what is I mean? this? The kid, it's not the kid you're fighting, is it? No, it's not the kid I'm oh, fighting. Yeah, yeah. My mates are fighting some yeah, on yeah, Saturday, yeah, lad, yeah, the way yeah, in yeah. the morning. And they're getting And this kid, this kid got offered my mates who no one had fight, and he said, no, no, I want a warm-up fight. And he's took a fight against someone else from my gym. Oh, is he? So he's basically disrespected saying I'll take the fights against him. Yeah, so yeah. I can't wait for getting to smash his head in and I'm yeah, going to yeah. run in the cage and just go yeah, to yeah. his corner. <laughs> <laughs> you gang of maggots. <laughs> know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But, so, got a, you've got you, another... <laughs> that is proper. Oh, I didn't <laughs> jump behind so often. I'm going to have him on my shoulders. I'm going to have him on my shoulders just pointing at his fans like, ah, what now? What now? <laughs> my be, man's the <laughs> boy. <laughs> you want to be giving it all that? Yeah, all of that, lad. I'll yeah, be bro. in the cage just <laughs> giving it a boogie, lad, like you on stage. Oh, that is you know the know best I mean? ever, bro. I swear <laughs> to God. You've got another one booked now, though, haven't you? So now I've got another one booked. So I, 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 I spoke to mums and the people who are operating this massive show. Like, bro, it's 
unbelievable like the shows that they're putting on like they're not doing it by half mate it's no, proper proper stuff you know like and I went to the last case I won it and I took it in that last fight in four or five weeks notice after I'd been on a 10 month bender mate I'd done 50 60 shows were it I'd been I know, lad, I'll be honest man obviously I look I at your insta fat. lad you're in Marbella one day you're in Mallorca oh, the next man. day you're in Ibiza the next day I'm like oh, what, what, how many air miles does this yeah. oh I swear mate it's every every day and again I'll touch on that even that looks don't get me wrong I'm Grateful I've got this work and I'm amazing yeah. to be on all these amazing shows. But f me, bro, imagine like, so <clears throat> before I was doing, uh, it'd be like a beefer on a Monday. Uh, it'd be like five to six in the morning. Then I'd have to get to Greece, but there won't be a, a direct flight. I'd have to go via uh, Vienna and then end up landing in Greece at 10 o'clock at morning, uh, 10 o'clock at, uh, at night. But I'd not slept at all because I didn't go to a flight till 10 o'clock yeah. at morning. Then I'd go on set at one o'clock, finish that, then go, then go back to Mallorca, then go back to Greece. And then it, mate, it's it's just bit, a lot of time it's just that's flight. it that's the side that people don't see of all the stuff we do oh, that people think oh you've got the life you've got this and that you don't know yeah. what it's like jump I mean, to get on a plane and then get on a train and then go somewhere else constantly this, constantly, constantly mate. Like, that's what I say with like fighting that's the side of like your job like man's like the dieting and all the training you're doing like yeah, exactly, people don't yeah. see all that side They'll of things you never feel that until no, you do something they can until do you it do themselves it, yeah. you, can't, you can't even comprehend it it's, it's hard but like like I've been to London twice this week it doesn't sound a lot from Leeds but I've got a million other things on and uh, um, but what I was saying is um, what was I saying where were we now the, it, what, we were you were saying the, about um, your, the, next, your next scrap the next scrap so I took that last one in, in four weeks time the next one these shows are massive what the, the this outfit are doing it's unbelievable like I went to the KSI one and I seen it and I, and I was literally having a party that night I had a launch party in London for a, a new single and I, I was spinning on my head having a party and they said fuck it do you want to get on next one I was like Keep going. They said, "When is it?" He said, "It's all. It's in four, or five weeks." I, I, I completely out of shape. of smoking twenty Benson and edges. <laughs> but I said, "Fuck it, I'll get in." So I went and I completely switched up. But like I said, I take it seriously. Once I get into that uh, that gym, you know, there's no other way. Like uh, the diet is completely on point. I'm training twice a day. I, I've got the art on. I'm, I'm getting fit. Uh, I'm learning all the time, and it's everything has got to be about that. But it, the, the past couple of camps that I've done. I've still been working. I've still been doing shows nearly every night and still having to train in day, then getting back at the car, go down to Portsmouth, other side of the country, do a show at two o'clock in the morning, then drive back, then go to the gym, then go to Brighton and then go here. And then I'm like, f***ing hammered. So for this next one, I've got 10 weeks now. Uh, I'm going to cut off all, well, pretend I've got shows every weekend, but I'm going to cut off work so I can concentrate and just fully just get, just get sick, mate. Just turn into yeah. an animal that I've, I've got no other choice because next one's in Texas. Texas, mate. Yeah, like yeah. I've never even had a fight, bro. <laughs> on a, on a show, I mean, Fighting in a big mad stadium I mean, in Texas, Texas yeah. never fought before. Yeah, so, like, yeah, so I'm, I'm grateful. I'd like, probably end up fighting in front of more people than I've oh, ever fought in front of. <laughs> Do you know this? This is like it's the thing. It's like um, the, what 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 I'm doing. Are there's people who've been fighting for years, who you know who haven't even got this opportunity to do. Who've been fighting and fighting in in boxing gyms and so like. My last fight, uh, I just give all my money away. I didn't, I didn't. I said from the beginning, I'm not gonna. I don't want any financial gain from this. It's a massive opportunity for me. I know I'm gonna get financial gain at some point. Yeah. I'm gonna get some amazing opportunities. I'm gonna go to the Texas to all these shows, meet all these people. I'm gonna get myself into shape, get my mind right again. I'm gonna be fit. I'm gonna be. Fi so I, 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 I'm giving. I've given all my money away, bro. And I went. I went and visited um, a little Betsy. I don't know if you've seen a little girl called Betsy on Instagram. Yeah. I've been following her for a while. She's really such a sweet, positive, funny, hilarious girl. And she's 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 been uh, she's had an illness for a long time, and it's just horrible to see. So oh, we surprised her with a big lump of dough the other day. I've got a few other people that I'm going to be um, this weekend. That I'm going to see, and I'm not going to go into it too. Well, much, that this won't come out for a while, lad. If you want to, yeah, yeah. Uh, so, so so when basically when I'm in this camp, yeah, I had a. Uh, the first one, uh, I, I had a bad flu, yeah. And I was saying to myself, like, I'm. I, there's a few things that are keeping me going within this. This I've got to go and train today. I'm, f I'm dieting, I'm knackered, you know what it is yourself. Yeah, and then I got a flu, but I still had to keep training. And I'm thinking to myself, first of all, my great granddad, like, he got me through it thinking about it because he was in the war, do you know what I mean? And he got a medal in the war and Victoria Cross and all that. And, and I'm thinking, the, these guys, when they were in the trenches and they got a flu, they couldn't go yeah. home. They couldn't say, oh, f I'm not coming today. They had to fight to the two for nail mate they had to fight so oh, it's completely different again but that's what got me through I was thinking do you know what if he can do it, it I'm just going to keep fighting I'm going to go and spar I'm going to go down today I'm going to think of my granddad and what he had to do and what all, all his and it's Remembrance Day this weekend yeah. you know it's, it, it's it, I think about stuff like that a lot do you know what I mean then there was um, 
three other people that were just on my mind all the time. It was little Betsy, little girl, she had hair longer than yours, mate. <laughs> she had hair down to a bum, beautiful, beautiful. And, and she's obviously, she's got no hair now. And and she's she's really she but every time you see her on Instagram, she just smiling. Mate, she's uh, lifts me up, mate, every yeah. time I see her. And I'm thinking she ain't got cho she she don't have a choice to fight, but she's fighting every day. You know what I mean? So when I, I'm having to go and I'm having to train, even a little bit, you know, not in comparison to what you do, but I'm still having to pick myself and go after I've done a short night before, or whatever. I'm thinking of Betsy, I'm thinking of my granddad. Then I'm thinking when I was in Thailand with Deacon uh, earlier this year, a kid who was only 15 called Danny Boy. Uh, he messaged me, his dad messaged me saying, oh, Danny boy, he loves your music and all that. Yeah. Um, and and he's, he's, he's really ill. And I'm, and I'm, bro, I've got emotional. I'm sat with Deacon and I'm looking at this kid who's a really cool, trendy kid. And he's going through this thing and I'm thinking, me, it, it's not fair. So then I spoke to him, I've gone down and seen him, took his family for for dinner, I had a little thing with them. And I, re I talked to him all the time. He's coming to Playroom this weekend again. He's been nice. loads of time. And I've got a gift for him as well from the fight. Do you know what I mean? And then uh, again, Ashley Kane and his daughter, you know, uh, his little daughter died of, you know, uh, she were really ill. So I, I, all I'm saying is the, you know, I know that there's boxers and people like yourself who've fought for years and boxers I know that fought for years and they aren't, obviously you have, but there's certain other people haven't had these opportunities that I'm getting. So I'm very grateful, do you know what I mean? Yeah. And for, so I said to myself, if I'm doing this, I, I, I know what it is and I'm going to get, I want to help. I want to do it to help other people. Yeah. 